what's going on everybody? It's Brad again, Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park, 1515 Wells Road, right off of the noisy 295. Please ignore the semis and motorcycles. Adam Mech has some sort of event going on today, so it's gonna, it might get loud. Uh, today, I have a 2014 Pathfinder 2600 HPS. Um, we'll get the tech camera turned around here and, and go over all the features and all that good stuff on the boat pretty good shape low hours and uh ready to find a new home had to keep it for a long time but it is 26 feet 2 inches overall 8 foot 10 on the beam drafts about 15 inches of water and with that hydraulic jack plate on there it'll probably run in just about that much too uh 3300 pounds with engine dry 80 gallons of fuel and it is an 18 degree boat uh maximum capacity is rated for i believe 11 people so you can get all your uh, best fishing buddies on there to pay plenty, plenty of gas and bait money and beer money and all that good stuff. Uh, nice color, Carolina bluish. Hull's in really good shape. Doesn't seem to be any dock rash or anything like that. Vented hull, pluses and minuses, but she probably goes pretty quick. Gets up on plane pretty nice. Good water protection up front. Nice steep entry. See the run down the hall there. Stays pretty wide the whole way down. Should be a good nearshore boat. Great for northeast Florida boaters for sure. Big reverse chine, kind of a secondary reverse chine up front to help deflect that water if you're running through some heavy stuff. Uh, trailer does come with it. Trailer's in really good shape actually. Running around to the eye pilot on front with quick release. Spare tire on the trailer. Come around this side. A little bit of corrosion on the aluminum wheels there, but that's kind of normal when you got stains against aluminum. Uh, power pole. And what's better than one power pole? Two power poles. Like I said, you got the Atlas uh, TH Marine. I think it's uh, looks like about an eight inch setback. Probably about eight inches, 10 inches of adjustment there reboarding platform and ladder integrated trim tabs and I'm not very familiar with these boats so excuse me I'll try to go through it and speak as intelligently as possible I uh, have some cleats under the deck cap there keep them out of the way of fishing lines pop-up cleats back there plenty of live well and storage space on this boat for sure uh, sorry about the cleanliness just traded it in and wanted to get it posted but we are going to fully detail this bad boy in the next week or so um build access you have a pie plate there and then you have a hatch in the deck access to all your pumps power pole wiring power pole pumps uh live well pumps seacocks drains it seems to be all tucked up in there nice and neat <clears throat> another storage space drains overboard don't think it's plumb for a live well and then uh, your helm seat here. Decent size hard top. Not huge by any means. Got some tackle. Storage back here, batteries in here, easily accessible. And then even more storage on the floor of the boat. Battery switch, oxygenator. Uh, space back here is pretty decent. Now the rear casting deck is huge, which is nice. And then walking between the console and the gunnel side, it's plenty of room to walk by someone else, which is nice because a lot of these boats that aren't quite as beamy get a little bit crowded. Uh, captain seat, helm seat, nice fold down armrest. It is adjustable. There's a track down there, forward and aft, uh, jack plate, digital uh, throttle. Trim tabs, VHF, radio, big 12 inch Garmin. A little bit old on the electronics, but it's a 7212. Still works pretty good. Yamaha, command link gauges, and all your DC systems, lights, pumps, all that good stuff. A uh, little glove box there. iPilot remote, power pull remotes. Rod storage on the sides there and a nice little gasket up top so you can run the longer rods up there if you needed to. More tool storage 
on starboard side, gaffs, even rod storage. You got some smaller rods. And going up front, uh, more access to the helm and uh, some tackle storage, which is kind of cool. Put some Plano boxes in there. Uh, more storage here. It seems to be pretty well insulated, and I don't know where it drains, but it looks like it's used as a cooler. Uh, the cushion for this is in here. It's not in great shape. We need to clean it up, possibly get some of this mildew off of it, but this does look like a macerated box, fish box insulated. Again, apologize about how dirty everything is. It will be cleaned up shortly. All in all, the boat's in really good condition. Just seems to be some of the add-on stuff. More rod storage in here, lockable, which is nice if you're staying at a marina or something. Keep it honest, people honest. More storage in the floor. And there's your macerator pump for that fish box right here. Uh, this is more lockable rod storage over here, but the full boat cover is shoved in there right now. So it does come with a full cover. Keep it cleaner than what we are right now. More storage up front, not very deep, but it does tuck up under the deck there a little bit. And then you have another bait well up front. Of course, that way you don't have to share with your buddies in the back. It's a good thing. Again, high pilot trolling motor and anchor locker. Looks like probably 100 or so feet of road tucked up in the box there. Another look at the boat from the front. Plenty of space on both sides. But if you know anything about a Pathfinder, they do maintain their value really well. Really well made boat. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to reach out to us, Brad or Barton, at 904-644-7631. Whether it's this Pathfinder or any other boats we sell here, we'd be glad to help you out. You can always get us on the website at yamahamarinejax.com.